Amazing. Thank you very much. Right, you're going to win that gold medal now, okay? You ready? Okay. Take your time, drive on. Hopefully the sat-nav will reorientate and then just follow the sat-nav for me, please. Thank you. At the end of the road, turn left, Chamberlain Way. Turn left. At the end of the road, turn right, B466, Cuckoo Hill, then take the second left. Turn right, then take the second left. After 300 yards, turn left, high view. to wait for like 60. That's very soon. And left, high view. Okay, Sophia, I'll meet me after that one there, and a driver that's parked on the left. We'll try and see if we can find somewhere to pull over on the left. Okay, so just keep going past. After this, 200 uh, yards, turn right, west end lane, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Chapel Lane. Make a good spot here, well done. Nice. Lovely, thank you very much. Just part of the test, the examiner's gonna ask us to pull over at least three times and then just drive away again. Okay. So whenever you're ready and it's safe, uh, drive on and just continue to follow us up now.
Turn right, West End Lane, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Chapel Lane. After 100 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Chapel Lane. Then take the second right. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Then take the second right. I like how you're covering the brake pedal. <clears throat> After 200 yards, turn right, Bridge Street. Turn right. It's one of those high streets that can be a bit busy. And we've got a little kind of help here with the zebra crossing. Mm -hmm. So you see sometimes as people cross, let's go halfway if someone crosses, we use that as an advantage. And then just wait halfway, and then yeah, if the other traffic lets us out, we can go to the next half. Only allowed to do that if the examiner says go halfway though, otherwise you're just gonna have to wait longer. So there's been a station on our left and it's kind of the high street, I guess. I think we'll head over to which rice slip and then back to the test centre. So it's a little bit of a long loop, but I, for some reason, feel After like you're going to After 200 yards, test. cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Marsh Road. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Nice double check. If they're walking past like the other half After 200 the yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second the exit, Rainers Lane. Yes. I'd say 99% of the way across. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. <laughs> it was only a split second though, wasn't it? next row can be a little bit tricky to see so I'll just point it out when we get back.
After 200 yards, turn right, Highfield Avenue. Just about to see it on the right. It's a little tiny road. Turn right. For a right turn, mm -hmm. try to position to the centre line. Okay. trick there might be one spot after 100 yards turn right Whittington way then Don't turn left up. Mm -hmm. we'll do that later okay. so it's going to be a right and then immediately left turn right then turn left Turn left, St. Michael's Crescent. Nice, we're going to check some signals. Alright, then if you can find a convenient place to pull up on the left, please. What are you doing to me? <laughs> you had a nice straight road with lots of spots there, uh -huh. and you come into no, a shop. I didn't, I didn't want to park like in front of a van. Yeah, that's fine. Is it fine if you do? Yeah, you can oh, okay. a normal driving okay, test. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, just try to well done. You've avoided the driveways, yeah. and then there was a few spots there. Yeah, just it was a straight road. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, just avoid uh, pulling up in turns. Just a bit okay. tricky. Mm -hmm. Okay, take your time when you're ready and it's safe. Drive on and continue to pull the sat nav. I'd like you to pull up in a convenient place on the left. All right, um, nice pulling up, pretty decent. It's getting a little bit close, mm -hmm. so you can yeah. give a bit of extra room. Okay. Try not to uh, block the driveways. Mm. You see where the grass is? Poles, yeah. trees? Yeah. A raised so curb. Just, yeah, you can yeah, just yeah, edge yeah. up there if you wanted to. Even go to the next one just before the BMW. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right, when you're ready and it's safe, drive on. And I think this is the third and final one, but we might do one more okay. bit later just okay. to practice. After 100 yards, turn left, Cannon Lane. Turn left. Thank you. 
inspections. Secret to pass in a driving test, take your time at junctions. After 200 yards, bear right, Eastern Avenue. Excellent, good signal, nice understanding of the crossroads here. It's not a perfect cross, but you got it. Position, try to be Bear closer right, to the centre line Avenue. for a right turn. Okay. Take your time when you're ready, drive on and continue to follow that outfit. Do, would you say like the camera would be useful then? Incredibly useful, okay. yeah. So when they tell me to, like, mm -hmm. should I just... Yeah, okay. you did. That was very nice. Okay. I, what I did is I, if you press it one more time, I just changed it to this one. Yeah, you can see that you're way too close. Okay. The yellow line really wants to be on the edge of the grass, on the edge of the pavement. Right, yeah. okay, yeah, that's way too close. Take time when you're ready in the safe. Draw on. Right, I completely forgot to do the talent question. Um, would you be able to tell me about the power steering? How would you test to see if it's working? We can come back to that later. Alright, let's choose a good one. Nice move, Uh The power steering answer would be that it's light and easy. So you know how people can do this with the steering wheel? Yeah. That's because the power steering is working. So easy and light. Uh, so easy and light is good for power steering. It's the opposite for the foot brake. Clue. So how would we test to feel that the foot brake is working? Um, the brake has to be sound. Yes, excellent. Now if you want to compare it to a bicycle, because some people have been on a bicycle, when you squeeze the brakes, you want the bike to stop immediately. Yeah. See how we're approaching junctions just a little yeah. bit quick. Okay. That's the main concern I have today. Okay. Um, that's causing us to get a little bit too close to parked cars and the pavements because we're coming in a little mm -hmm. quick. So if you do see a junction coming up, approach it at jogging speed. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Raslip. So eventually we'll get to this one-way road. In the meantime, you got Sally's Corner. 
Have fun. <laughs> Very sharp left turn. <laughs> Very sharp left turn. Sometimes we might even need to stop. Yeah, it's very narrow. Some cars might be coming out. You'll mm -hmm. see it. Uh, it's just near the post box, but you've got the sat nav to count down to the turn. See, it almost looks like that road's closed. See that band with all the road works around there? Is that the That's where the road is. Oh, after 200 yards, okay. turn left and Grove. Okay, it's open then. The vehicles are turning in. Okay, but yeah, it's just behind this van. Turn left. Break. See what I'm saying about the junctions. Slow up, no, 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 no. Stay away from the accelerator pedal. The accelerator pedal, I'm going to call him Chad. Mm -hmm. Right? Chad's a very nice guy, mm -hmm. but he's not reliable. <laughs> we'll call the other one, what's a really boring name? Kevin? <laughs> Sorry, Kevin's. <laughs> Kevin. And Kevin's very reliable and yeah. safe. Okay. All right? He's a better friend. So use Kevin for today. At the end of the road, turn right, South Vaughan Gardens. Turn right. Feel. Yeah, it felt like yeah, it feels good. Yeah, if you feel that butterfly feeling, it means we're going too fast. Yeah. Nice, see, adjusting your feelings there. Like, I don't like this, this mm -hmm. isn't feeling good. All right, let me slow down more and then we feel better. Okay. Good, I gave you a good gap there as well because you slowed down early. You had more room. All right, show me question time. Um, would you be able to show me how to open and close one of your side windows, please? Fantastic. Thank you. taking the whole center of the road and we have a safe distance both sides. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Victoria Road. Done with your pedestrian there, they're kind of waving their arms, and looks like they're kind of getting in the way, so you gave a bit more room. Go right on the roundabout Good. and yeah, take the third one. exit. Good with your speed, very nice. Lovely observations. Signal. Very nice double check on the left mirror. Very nice if you pedestrian crossing there as well. Right, we're not too far from the end of this test actually. Just that one way road. And welcome to Iceland. 
do they usually take you? I think they're going to come to Iceland, okay. yeah. After 200 yards, turn left, Pembroke Road, then turn right. Turn left, then turn right. Examiners usually tell us turning right just here. Turn right, west way, then turn right. Nice that the bus was there because sometimes people get confused and they try and drive into the bus. Good with your junction, nice position here, well done. See how you're reasonably close to the centre line? Mm, That's yeah. a good position. Okay. the road markings as well, yeah? yeah? Would you fell if you went to the left lane? Yes. Really? Okay. Turn left, Windmill Hill. Yeah, I wouldn't have noticed that. I don't think. So yeah, the examiners usually mention it as a one-way road you know, oh, okay, and try okay. to help you a little bit yeah. without telling you what to do. <coughs> you just have to have a little disclaimer. Yeah. Not all examiners would say it, so okay. just not to rely on that, I guess. Okay. They're quite nice here. Anyway. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel there's enough room, then yes, yeah, it's a little bit narrow this road. Yeah, so again, just linking back to the feeling. Something told you there, I don't feel like this is good. Yeah. Just tune into that. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. B466 East Coke Road. Nice braking before the bend. Very good control for your junctions or turns. Why is it? Oh, it's in the seconds. It's usually a bit perfect. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Very good timing on your block of cars. You're not just looking in one place, you're scanning the whole roundabout. Oh, talking about roundabouts. Double roundabouts. Oh, are they coming? Yes. Oh, okay. The sat nav isn't that great at giving the directions at the double roundabouts, so the examiners usually tell us when we get close. Do the same. Really? 
Yeah, you seem a little bit more relaxed. So it's a very nerve wracking day. Just try to be yourself, you'll be absolutely fine. My sister loves this. Yeah. I was going to ask, but yeah. I didn't want to. Yeah, um, congrats. Apparently, the guy, he gave her like three tries of theme parking. Okay, uh, I think I might know. Uh, did you, was it Hendon? Or? No, it was Barnet. Oh, Barnet, oh, yeah. right. Okay. Yeah, might, I might know who that is. Um, I don't want to really mention names, but yeah, there's some nice examiners yeah. there. I uh, say so that's maybe one more try than most examiners would like yeah. to give. She just, I think she said like, oh, please give me another chance just because I'm nervous or something. <laughs> well, that's nice. It seems to have worked. Yeah. Was it the reverse or the forwards? I think it was the reverse. They usually do it in their own car park. Actually, that's where I'm going just after your test. Um, um, Barnum? Yeah. Okay. yeah. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, B466, High Road East Coat. All right, first roundabout left, second roundabout right. So left first of all. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. And right at the second roundabout. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, B466, High Road East Coat. That was excellent. Okay. Absolutely brilliant. I was just saying hello to my mate. <laughs> yeah, you were fantastic. Well done. Uh, we're going to get the other ones in as well, though. Okay. And uh, we'll go do that. I'm kind of, you know, just keeping tabs of your minor marks. And we're almost finished this test, but we've got to do a manoeuvre. You did say that you'd like to have a look at the parallel park or reverse park. So probably finish off with that. Okay. And then we can go do some more practice little bits and pieces. We got time. Now, just a little trade secret. After um, 200 we are allowed yards, to drive on that left, exit. Catlin's Lane. Some people they will avoid it, and then get too close to the pavement. So a little bit on the reds, absolutely fine. We can always go over the broken Turn lines. Left. That's that's okay. And then it's just this left here again. A little bit on the lead red might be helpful here. Just because of the corner bit, that's all. Okay, lovely. Yeah, people see red and get a bit worried sometimes. I understand. Red means danger yeah. usually, doesn't it? So. Once you pass, you and your sister want to do pass plus. If I pass. When you pass. <laughs> um, let me know. Wait, what is that? Pass plus should reduce your insurance. It's a motorway lesson, basically. Oh, okay. uh, but also can involve like urban driving, like in a city. So I think what might be nice, if you and your sister would like to do that, yeah. we could just spend a day in central London. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so it's just something out there. Have a chat. At the end of the do. road, turn so right, Chamberlain Way, then company. turn left. You can't fail it. A lot of people are like, can I fail? Oh. <laughs> it's like, no, not another test. <laughs> it's not a test, just a lesson. Okay, we're pretty much back, but I'd like you to ignore the sat-nav because we're just going to finish up with a little bit of parking. So at okay. the end of the road, ignore the sat-nav. Turn left, please. Turn oh, right, the then turn yes. left. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show you another way around. Sometimes examiners will go this way. It's quite common actually. Just to do a manoeuvre and then we'll take you back to the test centre. Okay. okay, now we have a triangle junction. This is exactly like the test centre junction. Uh, turn right, please. So just the next right. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. Position needed to be more here. Mm, okay. So as we come into a turn that we can't see around, yeah. position all the way okay. over. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, I'd like us to pull up on the left, please, just in that parking bay before the black car, if we can. Lovely. Okay, what we're going to do um, is the parallel park, or mm -hmm. as it's referred to on the driving test, reverse park. We have our victim in front <laughs> here, and the Vauxhall Corsa. I'd like you to pull out, stop next to it, reverse park onto the yellow line in front of the driveway. Okay. okay. Any questions, just ask, otherwise take your time. When you're ready, good luck. You got it, yeah. that's the one. <laughs> nice, so just having that blind spot check again before we move off, no dramas. Okay, so the way I got to it was, I think it, it might be different mm -hmm. to like, I don't know. Real life. Yeah. <laughs> It'd I, be the driving test way. One, two, one. No, the thing is, because the lines I feel like are different. So Just stop for me. Yeah, the lines are different. Cause that they, line? they don't bend usually what, to the car that I drive. Try and bring that on okay. to the edge of the pavement. Yeah, let's come back like a little bit more. And let's see if we can get the orange line back. I feel like... You're good. I feel yeah. like I've, I've fumbled it. So. No, not really. Keep it going. We'll be fine. One of my students taught me this as well. When that yellow tip reaches the corner, mm -hmm. that's when we steal right. Okay. And then just steal to see. The orange line, a bit more on the edge, so just a bit more to the right. Bit more. Yeah. There. See how it's like right on the edge? Yeah. That's lovely. And you can see there's a little gap here on the mm. left mirror. Let's have a look out the front. Straight. Nice. Now I'd like you to do that again. Okay. So just take yourself back to your start position and see if that orange line on the edge of the pavement is useful just as you come back towards the end. Okay. okay. Um, this is a good method for test because you've got this amount of space to park. Mm -hmm. I can show you another method, maybe on Pass Plus or something, with parking central London in a small space. Okay. okay? okay. But just keep doing what you're doing and yeah. just use those orange lines at the yeah. end. Okay? okay. Any questions? Please do ask. Otherwise, take your position and we'll do one more. Doing good. Can you see it now, yeah? Mm -hmm. A bit more though. There you go. Yeah. So it's right on the edge. Mm -hmm. as well. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah, well done. Is that too close to the curb, actually? As long as we're not on the pavement, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another little secret. This is where all the driving instructors will be out for my blood again. Um, if you do touch the pavement, yeah. it's not a fail. Okay. If we hit the pavement or go on the pavement, that's a fail. Okay. So touching's okay. okay. All right. Okay. Do me a favor. Would you just push the power button, please? That is the end of your mock test. How do you feel it went? Uh, I 
don't know. I think at the start, again, I was making a couple of mistakes. Okay. What would they be? Just like going too fast at certain times. All right. The junctions, a yeah. little quick. Yeah. Okay. Um, that wasn't anything that I marked. Okay. That was just nerves. That's okay. all that is. Mm -hmm. It's normal. Oh, I can't see. Why did it do that? These new phones are so smart. Okay, um, yeah, so that was just a little bit of a tip, really. So well done for adjusting the speed at the junctions at the end. And um, anything else that comes to mind? <laughs> Not now, Desmond. Not now, Des Desmond. If you ever see this, god damn you, you almost broke my phone. Okay, um, anything else that comes to mind? Uh, not really. Cool. Not sure. All right, so that sounds like a pass to me. Really? Well, anything dangerous? I mean, you said you kind of. No, but I don't know. That you rushed the junction a bit, but did you cause any danger to anybody? No. no, no one slamming the brakes on, yeah. shouting out the window, beeping the horn. No. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Well done. You have passed. Oh, okay. I'm going to give you a telling off in a second. <laughs> all right. But in the meantime, there you are. Gold medal. There's your gold medal. So at least if I don't pass the real thing, I can still take this. You've got some really? kind of uh, second, second rate prize. I don't <laughs> know. Okay. So yeah, we just had a few position turning right. Yeah. So remember what I'm saying to keep to the center line yeah. for a right turn to try and hold the center mm -hmm. line. It might give space to people to turn left. Um, we did have one bend, so my kind of scruffy writing there. And do you remember as we came around that bend? Just here. It's mm -hmm. actually a turn, wasn't it? Turning yeah. right, just here. Yeah, so, yeah. And then we had that learner car coming, mm -hmm. and we couldn't see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gonna need to position again, so it's that positioning. But this time we need to position on to our lane. Okay. Not so much, you know, the center line. Mm -hmm. Okay. So three minor faults. Okay. Also three minor faults uh, for clearance. So I think because of the rushing at the junctions mm -hmm. and certain spots, it did cause us just to get a little bit too close to uh, two parked cars and one little bit of pavement when we pulled up on the left. Okay. Yeah. yeah and that bend. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's it. Um, they were in the same category. So that's kind of nice in a way. They're not random and all over mm -hmm. the board. Uh, so we've got the position for your right turn. Swatch your position in your junctions. Take your time. And then your clearance from parked cars or pavements. Again, just watch your position in the road. Take your time. Slow it yeah. down a little bit. Uh, I don't want you driving like, um, I don't know, I don't want to be ageist or anything here, but maybe someone later in their years, yeah. you know, taking extra, extra, extra mm -hmm. care because the reaction times are less. Yeah, yeah. All right. So just, you know, be reasonable with your speed. Okay. But when you do approach a junction or a turn that you can't see, slow right down walking speed stop if you need to okay. absolutely fine right any questions no no right we're gonna go do some more practice before your real test okay. so i just want to say a big massive thank you and congratulations to you for passing your mock test just before your real test and i've been scott this has been sophia and until next time bye